Pretty sure you need to do something else involving the flask before you can extinguish the flame, man. Hey, fair. Oh, there it is. There it is. Goliath told me to seek out a woman named Amel in the clerk's word so that I might find the word that will unleash the full power of the decanter of endless water. So, yes, you are correct. You ever get the feeling you're being watched? You are. Oh, oh, here we go. This tall, slender woman sipping wine from a small ceramic cup appears to be looking for someone. Her facial features are elegantly exotic, and the woman's ears, though partially covered by her long hair, can be seen to come to sharp points. Greetings. The woman turns to face you, violet eyes flashing like flawless chips of amethyst. Her speech is as music. You can hear a faint musical tinkling a hundred tiny crystal bells as she speaks. Each word lingers in your ears, as if they were unwilling to relinquish the exquisite sound. Nimel turned to face the scarred Taoist stranger. She asked what he wished of her. You're Nimel? I was told you know the command word for this decanter. Wait, are you looking for someone? Where could she be? Nimel wondered. Her companion, Elwyn, was supposed to have met her here days ago. The woman sighs miserably. The air around her grows chill with her sadness. How long must she search this vast foreign city before she finds her dearest friend? I can help you find your friend. What does she look like? Namel clasps her hands together and bows her head to you. She would be so pleased to hear news of her friend. She told the kind stranger what Elwyn looked like, so that he would know her should he come across her. An image forms in your mind, a woman who resembles Namel, but with golden eyes and hair of fiery crimson. Okay. Updated my journal. So I gotta find a red-headed character that looks like this? Okay. The woman smiles as she greets you, her beauty no less breathtaking than the first time you saw her. Namel held her breath as the stranger approached her. Had he found Erwin, she wondered. Um, I haven't found her. Well, I, let you, I was told you know the command word for this decanter. The woman makes no move to touch or examine the decanter, but only speaks. Namel took it from the stranger, turning it in her hands. Had she seen its like before, she thought? Perhaps. Yes, she remembered now. She returned the decanter, whispering into his ear as she did so. Updated my journal. Uh, you realize you know the word now. Lil Nil Dinosage. Okay. Jason Edlin is that one of the? Uh, I bet it's. I bet that's. Uh, I bet it's one of the developers' names backwards. I bet it's Jason Edlin or something like that. Uh, though you're certain the woman never whispered to you, but merely said she did. She blinks at you. Would the stranger leave her, now satisfied with what she had told him? No, I had some questions. Namel listened to the stranger's Namel listened to the stranger's questions, but could answer none. He would have to seek his answers elsewhere. Wow. Okay. <laughs> but I haven't I haven't even asked. Namel smiles at you, slowly shaking her head, her your face reflected in her shimmering eyes. Frustrated, confused, he at last gave up. It was clear this woman possessed no more knowledge that was of use to him, or if she did. She could not be persuaded to share it. Huh, this is kind of cute. Um, actually, uh, again, with the writing. That, so, this, the character is narrating the, um, the, it, the character is speaking the narrator's lines. So, there, there is, uh, the, God, man, I, this is why the writing in this, in this game is so very, very nice. Um, it's so very interesting a lot of the time. So this is the character that is basically using the narrator's lines for her own dialogue, uh, which is kind of, it's a unique, it's one of the most unique things I've seen. And reality is shifting to what she's narrating. Exactly. It's like, it's like, dang, this is like, oh man, I love the writing in this. Uh, it, and it's kind of, it, and the character itself, it's like, it's kind of a, it's a, it's a play on the narration versus dialogue thing. Every other character in this game so far, that the, the narration is separate from the dialogue. You can pretty well tell what it is. And so I read the narration in one word, in one voice and the dialogue in a different, different voice. But in this one, it mixes it. So it's tough to tell which one is the narration and which one's the dialogue because the dialogue is the narration. Ah, oh, man, it's I, I just love the way the writing in this game is. Anyway, okay. What? No, just let me ask you something. You open your mouth, but no words come out. Try as you might, you cannot question her. Namel shakes her head sadly. Farewell, then. Ah, man, I love it. Okay, let's go get that. Let's go get that flaming fire dude. <laughs>